If you have older friends and family members with underlying health issues, you can help them enjoy the holiday season more by following a few simple tips. And Tim Bardos, the president and CEO of Baptist Health Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, is here now with a few tips for us. And this sounds like a really good uh, topic for us to be talking about this time. Uh, Tim? Oh, thank you, Liz. Well, yeah. First of all, take a stroll down memory lane. Holidays invoke memories. and. Oftentimes, seniors' long-term memory is much sharper than their short-term short -term memory. So ask them about holidays past. You'll be amazed at what they remember. Plan ahead. Seniors tire, are, are often get tired very easily. So make sure that you allow time, quiet time, allow for quiet time, allow for an opportunity to uh, get away from, say, the little kids, or maybe even take a nap, and who wouldn't like that? <laughs> and lastly, eliminate obstacles. And by that, I mean don't go rearranging furniture in a, in a house where a senior is uh, used to it being in a certain place. And be sure to pick up those throw rugs that can be such a trip hazard. That's good stuff there. You know, it's a tough time for a lot of people, though. I mean, it's a it's a joyful time in some respects, but yes. you know, we know and we're watching it play out around this country right now. It is also a very sad, depressing time. It, it is. We want to reach out to any family members or friends who perhaps are lonely and don't have any place to go on a mm -hmm. holiday. Include them in your holiday plans. Okay. Now, be inclusive. Many seniors with physical limitations, they want to help yeah. out in some, in some way. Right. So find a way to help them uh, help out. All and right. be sure to keep a watch on medications and alcohol usage as well. Those are all good points. Thank you. And I know you'll be talking about it with your live guest yes. uh, on our website today. So thank you for being with us, Tim. Thanks, and uh, we'll be right back.